going to go ahead and show you the inside of our home. This is our 96, 38 foot Pace Arrow Vision with a Ford 460 motor. I'm going to walk around and show you a little bit of the outside first and show you what is going on out here. Love that I have a driver's door. Tool bays. Tool bay. Tool bay. Generator. Tool bay. Used to be a water tank, but we actually took it out and we're trying to go tankless, but the tank water tank isn't quite working right. But the extra storage I use for tools. Water bay down here, I'll show you. I'm gonna start there and I'll work my way up. How about that? Typical sewer bay. Everybody's seen outside shower, extra hoses, black water hose. We got a big filter there. We actually run another filter off the water up there. So we run two filters. I've got pressure washer up in there. And yeah, that kind of stuff. Let's skip that one. We're going to skip those two tool bays because I don't have them open. And we'll start this one here. Oh. Okay. Let's start with this one. I know it looks a little mess, but actually I know where things are. Power tools, tool set, extra parts, the miscellaneous game. This is a two-door little dresser that I cut down. I have more power tools in there, more tools in there, some extra tarps, gloves, hammers, cut-off wheels, tools, WD-40, work light. There's one. That's actually a pass-through bay. Behind that stuff, there is some extra stuff that we don't really use. I've got like an extra um, fuel pump, uh, an extra starter, things like that for the motorhome. Just in case we need them on the road, we get stuck. I can do that kind of stuff. This is my main tool bay. I actually don't get in that other one too often. I've actually got little bungees to make sure that these don't come open on the road because we've had that happen. So. Looks like it's but I've got a little bed here. It's got things like caulking and stuff in it that I use frequently. Tackle box. Use that to keep sockets. My big main tool box. Pull that out. Now I did it. I want to show you guys. I made this little bin here. My top one started coming off. I have things labeled and what goes where. They pull out and you got extras, wire cutter, screwdrivers, things like that. I got a storage underneath here for all this kind of good stuff. I just wasn't, I was, had toolboxes in front of toolboxes storing stuff like this and it just was impractical to keep pulling it out. So before we left Washington the last time, I built this little neat cabinet. Like I said, everything just comes out of these little lips, pulls right out and it's good to go so and most of the time i just use stuff in my main toolbox so really i just open the drawers out of the front of that all right i'll take you around the other side here and we'll go through what's over here right here right now we got our pool floaties out and things like that because we were using the pool it's been nice we've been using them but it's our first time bringing them out since we've been out and about actually so we just left them out for right now front bay here we got our boondocking and cleaning supplies cleaning supplies back there we got our paper towels and toilet papers and stuff some cleaning supplies but really we use paper plates and things like that when we're boondocking because it's easier than using our water and running our tanks so we close that one up next one over kid stuff they keep Anything kid-wise, life jackets, um, air beds, anything that they use, whether or about some sand stuff, you know, that kind of stuff. And then, we're going to go ahead and move down to this one. This is dog bay. So see, we got, I put this little cabin here too. We got a lantern out there, but it's been dog food, leashes, dog toys, dog stuff, dog bay. That's all dog bay. And back here, 
barbecue, but it's kind of a mess because I have the spare tire, which is up front, you can see, sitting up, up over there. I have a spare tire, Doug. We need to replace it with the one on the Jeep, get a plug and have somebody put it on. So we're hoping to do that here before we leave, or we're going to. But barbecue usually goes in here, fishing stuff, camping stuff. I got my bows and arrows, whatnot, and all that right there. But I have to lower the spare tire underneath from right there. Oh, yes. Tow bar for the Jeep. Bike rack. So kids can have their bicycles. And then I will show you. Oh, our mat. I love these mats. These are for horse stalls because they don't hold really water or anything. And they're comfy on the feet. They're like rubbery. And I roll them up and they get strapped up underneath by a spare tire when we're going. Oh, yeah, one more thing. We'll lower out places. See, there's Woo Woo. Got a little Woo laying outside. But we hook up to underneath our lead under the RV to the frame. And we can put two out. We usually only do one. Um, but that way the dogs can come outside and hang out and be connected. Oh, and also, our map on where we've been. Louisiana, Mississippi, we're coming for you in a few days. Oh yes, in a minute, our door, see, the dog head, look at our screen, I think we've replaced that thing like four different times, they love to claw at it and stick their head through it and push it back, it's about due for another one, because they think that's their look hole. All right, well, let's go ahead and go in and take a look around, shall we? Poor April, not feeling good. I'll get your dog. Okay. This is our TV. I will show you later in a video how we do this. We're going to do a pack up and how no. we move video. And this folds up and goes up above us and right, right above the front seat there. We also have our fireplace out right now. Some set of candles, things like that. Oh, our stereo speakers. I hook those up into the frame of thing. I think that painting will actually hide a little bit better, but yeah, later. Computer setup. Got our whole little tray there. Nice reclining chair. Well, ours are synced at his spot. Killian's bed. Now, we use it underneath the bed when you pull it up. We store a bunch of, I think it's full of DVDs, actually. That's all that's down there now. Um, kitchen. We start kitchen. We keep our coffee pot there, strapped to the side it never moves never has a problem because it's tied in cabinet dollar store dishes don't matter if they break right we upgraded the microwave to a much bigger easier to use microwave because the other one was just not working right so we've redone that um, this is our dinette set table can come up and all that we never set it up we leave it as a day bed dog bed they like to sit here and look out the windows and see what's going on and Isaiah when he's not posted up in his tent he's out over here oh yes our tulips we are from Skagit County so got our tulips hanging up and I actually added that beam in to support the whole framework that I did for the TV and let's see what else we got here refrigerator getting a little dark over in here oh the rope lights I added this cabinet now it had a double door fridge in it and it was propane and your rv fridge but we got rid of it because it wasn't working and instead of going and getting another rv fridge we went with a regular size and we just have these childproof clip locks going down the road holds it into place but with a regular size little um apartment fridge because it really has a lot more room than anything else you can get besides your Brand new modern day one. Um, and then we have this area next to us. So I built these shelves. Got to put in here. Put the rope lights so you can see. They turn off and on over there by that. Switch behind there. Three burner oven. With a little tiny oven. We're still figuring out how we're going to do a turkey this year. But we'll get it figured out. Uh, over here. Got a pantry. Pulls in and out. All the goods. More kitchen stuff down here. 
bakeware. I've installed all these little tap lights to help us. They were cheap. You'll be able to see in and out. Oh, now down over here, this was a washer dryer. And it just, we, we didn't use it much. It was just impractical for us. So we've taken that out. I added all these shelves to store more stuff. Keep our toaster and our other kitchen supplies down in there. Ice maker. This thing is essential. I told my wife she was crazy for buying it. I thought it was a waste of money. And I was right. She was 100% right. 100%. That is my one of my favorite items in the RV. To have cold ice to put in something is awesome. Now I want to show you this. It's kind of hard to see. Let's go turn the light on. I took this. This is a washer dryer spot. This plugs in where the washer and dryer was. I have an extension cord going up in there, back there. And this had a water line for a washer and dryer. So I took a hose, connected it to an on off spigot. So if this needs water, all right, or the dog pull, you can go right down there and turn it off. That sits up top. And that is that one. I'm a car guy. I've got to have a car shelf. That was my wonderful wife's idea. And I absolutely love it. Oh, this board. Tell we figure something else out. It covers here as we're going down the road and bungees in. Like I said, we'll show you that stuff when we get going. Hallway. Linen closet. Towels and such. Oh yes, one more thing about this RV that I absolutely love. When you scan an RV normally and you look back, you will see a bedroom. This has a privacy bedroom. You do not see it. It gives much more privacy for the kids and much more privacy for us. I know I appreciate April pre appreciates it. I'm sure Isaiah right there appreciates it. <laughs> yeah. So let's go back and I'll show you what this is back here. <laughs> so bathroom this is our bathroom nice little sink works good for everything we use for shower we don't ever use our shower i think i've showered in it once so kids usually store their blankets during the day from where they sleep they'll pick them all up make out those beds put them back and put their blankets to store back in there typical toilet we've got our vacuum hanging here medicine cabinet with all our shower stuff and uh, he's rear we got that this little guy down here i just did this it had a magazine rack and who really was going to use a magazine rack right so i took the magazine rack off and i knew this was a hole back here so i cut this out i'd like to put some trim and we put a little garbage can there normally we'll have extra toilet paper stacked up there but somebody hasn't brought any in that'd be my job i always do that but anyways back to our bedroom this is our bedroom. So, April side, my side. I got my shoes down here. I got more tools in there and more stuff. I don't have too much cabbage space. April usually keeps it all cooked up. All our good little stuff. Let's see. Oop. Gotta love our creepy things. We got John and Susan, the flamingos. Those are our good friends from Washington. We are travel buddies. Um, miss traveling with them. Hope to see them again. But they could go everywhere with us because they're our traveling buddy. April stuff. So we did this. We got rid of the curtains in here. I'll have to show you out there. And April had that window frame forever. And She's always wanted to keep it, wanted something to do with it. So we got rid of the old window frames with the curtains that didn't work. And we put that up, and it worked really well. We're going to find one from my side and do the same kind of thing. But that's still a work in progress. Now, I'm going to show you. This room had a little, little tiny TV spot in it. And we put a little TV in it that fit perfectly, but you couldn't even read it. You barely see the picture because it's so small. It looked like an 8-inch. Hi, Arthur. Um... It was about an eight inch TV that sat up in the hole. Now I took that 
and we put a 32 inch, which I also have. Now when it comes to this guy, April's got all her hanging clothes and stuff in here. April's got her stuff in here. This one's mine. Those two are mine. April's. April's. I don't got much like I said. So this TV, right? It actually lifts up now and swings. Oh, I have it hooked. We ratcheted to the wall when we're traveling. But it actually opens up and swings. I keep some old winter clothes up there in my table. So I put that on a hinge on a board and it clips in here. And when we're going down the road, and I, like I said, I'll show you later, this straps it all up and holds that thing into place. Oop, turn the TV on. And that's that's about the inside of our RV and how we live. It works out pretty well in here. So we can all fit. We can all do our thing. <laughs> Dogs seem to like it. They're cool with it. Isaiah's going to put on his Halloween costume here because he's got a trick-or-treat thing going on at the campground today at Thousand Trails here in Willis. Oh, this is what I was going to show you. We got rid of the flowery look and the whole RV because the curtains didn't work and we refabricated it with black and red and it looks nice and more up-to-date and for us. For us. This is April, busy with her day. <laughs> that's that's April's day. <laughs> yes. All right. And Isaiah, I'll show you his costume here in a minute. Get this sneak preview before Louisiana's Halloween festival, but it should be pretty good. Also, I forgot to mention all the cabinets above each of their sleeping area is their stuff. Isaiah's stuff, baskets, clothes, whatnot. Killian's got his stuff. On his side. A little bit more decor than mine. <laughs> yeah, Killian decorates his, as you can see, Killian. It is sunglasses, his safety glasses, his Mini Cooper, because he loves Mini Coopers. And But you know what? His cabinet's a lot more of a mess than yours. <laughs> yeah. So he's, that. that's about what. So like I said, you want to see a sneak peek of Isaiah for Halloween? <laughs> that's Kevin the alien. He's capturing Isaiah. Yeah gonna take him back to Isaiah's home planet. Adrian, he's coming for you next. I told you your family. I found him in Roswell. We're also gonna give you a little quick view of Killian and his costume. Right. Yeah, I'll get him finished up here and we'll give you a show. You guys ready now? Here's Killian. Mr. Skeleton. He glows in the dark. He's pretty excited for it. Now he's gonna go to the kids thing up here and go do some costume contest and trick-or-treating later this is before the costume costume we were heading over kids had fun they didn't win any prizes but it was a good time all the other kids this kid was awesome that's a custom made costume it was Bowser and he had a tortoise as his pet for the pet contest <gasps> and also I mentioned John and Susan I mentioned um, my brother Adrian Jason Trotter Chase Marianne, Josh Thorne, Jennifer, Mom, Dad, everybody else up there. We miss you guys. Nancy and Michael. Nancy, Michael, um, everybody. I mean, I'm My sure we're forgetting sister. people. Oh, yes. Her sister, Sarah. Um, and Adrian, Canadian, Caleb. We miss you guys, too. Um, Grand and Grandpa think about you a lot, too, Caleb. And hope you guys are having a good time in your RV. Besides my brother, Adrian, we miss all of you. <laughs> Um, and Ryder, our grandson, absolutely missed Ryder to death. Just wanted to say hi to everybody and let you know we think about you all the time, and we love you. One more thing. Josh Lauren, I missed the hell out of you.